Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is adding special effects. And uh, this is something everybody's been asking a lot about and how you do it. But um, the way you do it in this program, and it's probably different in other programs. In fact, I'm sure it is. But the way you do it in this one is you can uh, go ahead and select the clip that you want to add an effect to. In this case, we're going to use this little uh, carousel shot here. And you can see it's a little jumpy and a little... Uh, actually a little short for what I want to use it for. So um, I'm going to, oops, sorry about that, it's running away on me. Um, we're going to go ahead and select the clip and we're going to get to this a couple different ways. If you just right click it, then you can choose Open Effects Toolbox. You can also choose Control F or if you want to do it this way, you can go over here to the camera and it's going to bring up the Effects Toolbox. Um, if it happens to not be selected, it's the very bottom um, thing down at that bottom. It looks like a little plug. So all of those three things that I just showed you will get you to this panel right here, which is what we're looking for. Um, the first thing we're going to do is apply a filter to it. And um, I'm going to choose the stabilize so that it doesn't bounce around too much. Um, I don't want any borders and I just want uh, just the standard preset is fine for this and hopefully that smooths it out a little bit and if it doesn't then we can come back and uh, tweak the setting on that so that it looks a little more natural or um, a little more like we're looking for. Okay so we're gonna apply another effect to this and so we're gonna go to this button right here it says add new effect and choose the ultimate uh, um, RTFX and I'm gonna choose the old film style and that's basically going to give it an old look and uh, I'll do black and white because I think that's cool and then also uh, we'll see if it's got a scratchy preset that we can use as well. So we'll go ahead and uh, add those and then what it's going to do is it's going to start rendering. So um, I don't know if you can see this or not but my um, CPU usage, oh here we go, my CPU usage is going way up right now. So what it's doing right now is calculating um, and rendering the actual effect and I've got a pretty pretty hot processor and it's taken a pretty good long time for the, to get this preview down so um, let's see if we can play it that thing will probably fall to the back once I hit play here but let's take a look and see how much we've got of this clip now yeah pretty good pretty good um, so go ahead if you're happy with the way that looks you can go ahead and close this window here and um, you should be set to go now you can see we've applied the effect and you can see the film grain you can see the the uh, film effect that we've added and then we also like uh, turned it black and white as well so um, looks pretty good and that's how you add effects